lots of people ask me about the nature of Formula One and it's the business models that we work to. And one of the things that we have really seen over the last 20 years is a recognition of what our core capabilities really are. If you go back 25, 30 years ago, people in Formula One thought they were in the sponsorship and advertising business. And today, we are on no two minds about the fact that we represent an important technology sector. And if you look at the way in which the business model has initially broken, changed, evolved over the course of the last 20 years, it's been about this evolution of understanding how to play to our core strengths in terms of those technical uh, capabilities, the fact that we are in the innovation business, the fact that we can rapidly prototype and bring to market technology solutions for customers of all shapes and sizes across a diverse range of industries. So there's been a really powerful learning uh, from our time in Formula One over the last two decades. If you think about the 90% of people in a Formula One team who don't travel to the races, they work back at the factory. There's where we really have to, to make sure we have alignment where everyone sees what the strategy of the business is and contributes towards that. And there's a very simple truth about teamwork. If you have infighting in an organization, if you have tension, people pulling in different directions, you're not going to get the kind of outcomes that you can unlock through achieving world-class teamwork and collaboration. People who recognize in each other the opportunity to work together, to help each other, to have a degree of empathy uh, with your colleague when someone makes a mistake, to think that could easily be me. So actually that becomes an incredibly powerful way of motivating you to work together and to help one another towards a common goal and having that shared purpose. The other aspect, of course, is that alignment is critical. That doesn't mean that the whole organization has to blindly follow uh, whatever strategy the boss uh, or the, the leadership team uh, sets out. Of course, you need to be encouraged to challenge that. But once the strategy is defined, it's so important that there is alignment behind that, that everyone is pulling in the same direction. Because if you don't get that, uh, shared purpose, if you don't get that, that alignment, it becomes incredibly difficult to achieve those ambitious goals that you will have as an organization. As Formula One teams have diversified their businesses, if you look at teams like Williams and McLaren, Red Bull Racing and now Mercedes-Benz, what you're seeing there is a broad understanding that Customers come in all shapes and sizes, and we have to deliver solutions to those uh, customers. And that diversification means that within the organization, the leadership teams have had to make sure that everyone understands the vision of the business, why we're going to be doing business in a certain way, the types of customers that we're going to be servicing, that in the Williams Formula One team, you might find yourself working on a project for a supermarket chain, or in the Mercedes-Benz Formula One team, you might be seconded to working on a project such as the America's Cup uh, program, or working on the site racing program, or at Red Bull Racing, working with Aston Martin on producing a hypercar sports car. So the reality is that it's so important for a leadership team to communicate what the strategy for the business is, why things are evolving and to keep the whole team on board with that program because that way you have certainty, you have motivation and you have shared ambition for what the business is aiming to achieve. <laughs>